Welcome everybody to digital communications class. I have a syllabus here, so let me hand it out. I hope I have it out. Alright, so this is a 5223 DC. Uh, there are some vital information about the course. I tried to make you one pager. Uh, this is the first thing is my name. Then you have an email and a phone number. These are uh, there are a couple of things that are missing. Let me just uh, fill them in. Uh, the first one is uh, I'm in a room 304 of uh, engineering building. That's uh, where my office is, and uh, I hold office hours every Tuesday and Thursday between 2 and 5. So anything related to course or any other academic matter or any matter for that, uh, uh, you feel free to drop by and uh, uh, let me see if I can help. The most important thing on this initial part is this uh, web address. Web address gives you a link to a website where all the materials associated with this class and all the other classes that I'm teaching is posted. And material for this class consists of several things. First of all, all the notes that I'm using are actually already posted there, so you can go to the notes and see what's been covered. It was going to be covered, and it's extremely you, that's extremely useful for people who, for whatever reason, cannot make it to the class. You can always go there and find out what has been covered in that particular class. Uh, also, for this this semester, we're going to be recording these uh, classes, so the videos of these will appear on the same website, maybe not uh, the very same day, but within a couple of days, and this will help you exactly you know, see what has been cut. So monitor, this site is your friend. I also post some other materials, uh, some projects or whatever we do in the class, everything is going to be there. So, uh, the, there are 16 weeks in the spring semester. Uh, I just noticed here there's going to be 13 weeks dedicated to a lecture and there's going to be uh, two midterm exams. So I'll have to squeeze another midterm exam. But uh, uh, so there will be two exams and a final exam. There will be three exams in this course. The textbook I'm going to be using is uh, the same textbook that uh, we use for uh, communication theory. So it's just that in the first part we covered, uh, in communication theory, we covered one part of the book. And in this course, we're going to cover the other. Uh, namely the digital part of the book. This is one of the, I guess, mostly of most available books. You can get it pretty much everywhere. And there's tons of excellent books in digital communication. Uh, so feel free to use any other book. They all cover it's the same things, maybe slightly different, so you can find your own way of understanding uh, the material. The outline of the course is a little bit cryptic because it reference specific, references specific chapters of the book. But essentially what we're going to do is walk through the communication system. We're going to start after some preliminary uh, review of the material, like probability and all the stuff that uh, are bare necessity for this course. We're going to actually cover sampling, quantization, then uh, source encoding, meaning uh, how you actually go from the sam quantized samples into ones and zeros. Then we're going to talk uh, a little bit about information theory. 
uh, how do you do compression of your signal in, uh, uh, and how do you encode it in an efficient manner. And then we're going to be talking about modulation and, uh, the, uh, and, and transmission and reception of the signal over the communication channel. There are two channels that we're going to consider. One is going to be what is called AWGN channel, which is, uh, stands for uh, Additive White Gaussian Noise Channel, which for many uh, uh, applications is your baseline, the simplest channel, where the only impairments come from the attenuation and addition of the noise. There are no restrictions in terms of the band. So in this channel, we don't necessarily worry about shaping of our signal, because whatever the shape of our signal is, the channel is wide enough to accommodate the entire signal. And these are the, uh, these are the uh, sections here that start with seven. And then towards the end of the course, we're going to consider a more practical scenario where the channel is band limited. So instead of having you know, unlimited channel, we're going to still consider a WGN channel in terms of the, uh, that, uh, the fact that the most significant impairment is going to be white noise but now the signal would have to fit within a certain band. And we're going to learn how to do that and how to make the signals fit into uh, bandwidth of the channel. Uh, other than that, uh, here are the credits and how you learn, learn your grade. As I said, each one of the exams is going to carry 30 points and the final is going to carry 40. Now, what you see missing on this sheet are homework assignments. And what uh, I will do in this course, as you know in some other courses, I'm going to try to assign a lot of homework assignments. They're going to be straight from the book. I'll try to make all of them straight from the book. And uh, I'm not going to collect them, you know, because solution manuals are readily available on uh, Google. But uh, what, uh, what uh, I would like you to do is kind of work out every one of them in the great detail because all of your midterm exams and the final exam is going to be from these problems that they assigned for homework. Right? This is the same principle we did in our linear systems. And uh, throughout, uh, throughout this course, I'm going to actually have, uh, as, as, as soon as we cover substantial body of the material, I'm going to insert the sessions where I do nothing but the review of the, and, and just work out the problems associated with the, with, the, with the course. So that way, you're going to have a large pool of problems that you exercise and that, uh, that uh, this is how you prepare for the midterm exam. The last thing here is the grade scale, typical grade scale, no curving, no funny business. So, you know, you're, 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 you're you just uh, put yourself against the scale and that's your grade. Any questions? Go ahead. Is there any no, no. There's a, uh, the, I would like to do that, but then what happens is the reality of, of this format is the exam is one hour and 15 minutes, right? Because that's how long the class is. So I want to be able to test the material you know, thoroughly, and that means I have to limit the scope. So every exam is going to cover the portion of the material that was covered up to that exam. But, you know, just like any other course in electrical engineering, you can never hit the reset button, right? So that doesn't mean you pass this exam and then forget everything. Right? In this exam, in, this, in, in all communication classes, uh, you know very well that we are relying quite a bit on all the knowledge that you acquired through your undergraduate and even graduate course. We're going to be heavy on a Fourier analysis. We're going to be heavy on, uh, heavy on uh, you know, applied math of all sorts, right? So, so uh, heavy on probability, statistics, you know, stochastic signals. All of that is part of this course. Any, any other questions? All right, so uh, 